We're here with Patrick Murray, who's the director of the Polling Institute at Monmouth University, whose surveys of New Jersey are frequently appear and currently appear on pollster.com. Um, Patrick presented an, uh, an interesting paper today uh, that compared a survey done with a sample based on a, we call it a random digit dial uh, sample, where it randomly, uh, we pick random phone numbers uh, that represent all working phone numbers in New Jersey, and an alternative list, uh, an alternative sample based on a list of registered voters in New Jersey. This is a point of controversy among pollsters, uh, whether they uh, sample with lists or RDD. What did you find? Well, we found a lot of <laughs> inconsistent findings, but, uh, but there were some interesting things. Uh, we did a, a straight up test, so everything else was the same except for the fact that we got phone numbers either through RDD or RBS. And we found that in the and, and RBS, RBS is an act a registered based voting sample, a registered based sample, RBS, yes. <laughs> and um, so from the our, we found in the Democratic race uh, by that time, this is February fifth, Super Tuesday. So that by that time, it's a two person race between Clinton and Obama, and we found that the RDD was almost spot on uh, with getting the estimate uh, for the actual vote. Uh, Clinton won that race by ten points. We had it by eight points. Uh, in the RDD sample. The RBS sample, the list-based sample, however, really overstated Clinton's uh, support and somewhat understated Obama's support. So that was really way off. Uh, if we had used that as our only uh, predictor of what was going to happen in that race, we would have been way off. Okay. So what lesson did you learn from that? I mean, what, why do you think that is, and, and what do you take away from it? Well, I think part of it is we look on the other side, on the Republican side, and we didn't see the same thing. Um, we saw that the RBS was slightly better than the RD, RDD on the Republican side. Uh, and I, there's a couple of things that I think we possible reasons for this. One of which had to do with uh, that RDD may be better in a higher turnout race. We had a lot more Democrats, uh, like in, in many other states, we had record, record turnout on the Democratic side. We had high turnout on the Republican side too, but it was record on the Democratic side. So RDD might be better when the, when the turnout is higher because one of the things that is a problem in New Jersey with the list-based samples is that uh, we only have phone numbers for about 60% of all voters. Uh, it's different in some other states like California where they have 90%. So there's a coverage issue in New Jersey uh, in terms of the n number of, of, of voters who we have uh, phone numbers for. So it could be that in a more competitive race where more people turn out, we need that better coverage that RDD provides. Uh, it also a more competitive race on that side because by then, February 5th, it looked like McCain was going to be the nominee and he was just needed to win a few more states. But the Democratic race, as it is to the end of this campaign, has been wide open. The other thing is that we also looked at the possibility that race and, and gender of the candidate actually matters. RDD samples tend to be better in terms of the race of the voters and the age of the voters and the gender of the voters than an RBS sample. Um, and uh, Jay Levy from Survey USA found the same thing in a, in a race where it was a white female and a black male. Quick question. In, you're, uh, in saying that the demographics were better, that's in comparing the, what you found with the sample to the exit poll, correct? And of course there are problems with that. The exit poll is in itself a survey uh, you know, subject to error. But so yeah, that was the only, only benchmark that we could use uh, for that. Well, that was what I was going to ask. Uh, did, uh, were, have you checked or will it be possible to check with, the, with the, the Secretary of State to see what the age distribution is of those who actually cast ballots this year? Uh, yes, we can get the age and gender of uh, the folks who cast ballots and also where they're from. Where they're from is, is important in the, in the uh, Democratic side because uh, the urban-suburban split, you have higher concentration of different demographics. So while we can't get race, we can get some proxies for that by looking at that. That will be an interesting thing to check. I hope you do. I hope you tell us at pollster.com. And uh, thank you for uh, sharing your thoughts and results with us. My pleasure. Uh, for pollster.com, this is Mark Blumenthal.